Alright, so I want to go and react to the statement today by the Bengals because I've seen on Twitter people are just absolutely bashing the Bengals for this. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away, I did not see my video yesterday. Joe Mixon was found not guilty of his criminal charges of pointing a uh, weapon at a female in another car after a road rage incident. With that being said, here's what the statement they said. Since he joined the organization in 2017, Joe Mixon has been a valuable part of the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe has been a top-level running back with multiple 1,000 yards rushing seasons. And he has been an even better teammate enjoying real popularity among his peers. During his past seven years, Joe has been active with the community and his constant smile and energy has made him a favorite among thousands of fans. The organization is pleased that this matter is now behind everyone and we look forward to an exciting season with Joe being an important part of the football team. And as always, it's the people who are upset about this are not Bengals fans. These are the Browns fans, Ravens fans, etc., who are saying, why did you have to bring up the fact that he had multiple 1,000-yard seasons? Well, first off, this is a uh, statement saying, again, about what happened, right? About that he was found not guilty. When you put out a statement like this, the reason why you say it, uh, multiple 1,000-yard seasons is because that builds a worth ethic in the person. So what this is showing is, not only is he great with the community, not only is he very great with his teammates, he's also a he. He's working hard. He's trying. To, he's doing everything he can to help the team. This is not. He's not a selfish person. That's what this really comes down to when they say multiple one thousand yard seasons. Is again, this shows that he actually cares. He is trying to achieve something. He's trying to do the best for the team. So it shows that he is an important asset to the team. I see a lot of people on Twitter say, oh, well, that's just because they're trying to act like, oh, yeah, he, you know, he's really that good. It's not really saying that he is really that good because at the end of the day, there's multiple running backs every year who had 1,000-yard seasons. It's really showing worth ethic. And then they build his other character up in the second part of this saying that he's great with the community. So he's out there. He's helping others. He's not about himself. So, again another part of not being selfish, and then again, the constant smile and energy that has made him a fan favorite by many fans. So, it's really just building up his character that has been torn down by these false allegations by uh, this woman. So, it's not really going into that that deep, and I've seen, again, like I said, I, I can literally look on this exact post, and I just, I love trashing Cleveland Clowns fans, so, you know what, let's see, can I sniff them out? Oh, oh, there they are. No, they are. Wow, no class in that organization. Twenty-four accounts of SA, and you made him the highest-paid quarterback in the NFL. Now this is even better. Let's get it. It's even better. It gets better than that. Will he get disciplined by the lead? Any violation of code of conduct? Probably not. Not high profile enough for the league to care. If they actually suspend players for their actions, half the league would be suspended. What? What? What did he do that it was going against the league? The one he, I said in my video yesterday, the, you know, the only chance he gets suspended is if the NFL just hates us. And that's pretty much that. Because technically speaking, they could say, well, road rage incident. Oh, you know, maybe like he wasn't driving correctly. They could say something like that. But again, that I've looked at the NFL policy. That's not against the NFL policy. Driving recklessly is not a, a suspendable offense, according to the NFL. That's why you see players driving 180 miles per hour left and right, and they don't get, you know, disciplined. But I just love this so much. No, like, bro, you see, this is why clowns fans are the funniest people on earth. Because it's like, it, it, the hypocrisy, the hypocriticalness. I can't even speak. That's how I'm like taken away. But honestly, hate it when a team talks about a person, player stats when addressing criminal matters. One don't all have, wait, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. Um... See, it does to a certain point, like I said, when you're building the fact that he has a good worth ethic and he's a good person and he's not, uh, you know, as a lot of people are trying to paint him out to be, just a thug. 
that is going out there and you know trying to hurt people or you know point weapons at people you're building you building him up and you're you're giving him a um you're giving people who don't know who he is a lens right so you build this character that he is and that's why you say that kind of stuff now again like i said you know if they it's definitely one of those things where not everyone's going to understand that and some people will be upset by that so i understand that of course what else did you expect yeah i really hope they're doing the right thing I hope he, that he is not guilty. Well, he was found not guilty. So, I, I don't know what you think. Two things appeared clear from the footage. One was legal is definitely low. Culpability. She engaged physical first and multiple strikes before he contacted her. There was definitely a better way of handling that. If he's not guilty in the legal sense, that dude still did it. See, again, you... you like, this is what I find funny, because at the end of the day, he was found not guilty, right? There was not enough evidence to prove he did. It's a he said, she said. So, if you're on, if you're saying he did it based on what, you know, she said, I mean, yeah, you, you could go with that angle. But at the same time, though, there's no evidence proving that. So, you could technically just follow anyone's allegation on anything in life and say, Yup, it happened. Since he isn't Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much that. What will they say after the next one? I don't think there's going to be a next one. People don't realize that this is his first actual charge in this way. Well, I mean, I guess the house incident, but that wasn't him getting charged for that. That was his sister's boyfriend. So, uh, does the outcome really surprise anyone? Yeah, it's, again, like I said, it's just a bunch of nonsense. And that's this is still my favorite comment. But it's a bunch of nonsense about nothing. At the end of the day, he was found not guilty. You know, the court of law does their due diligence. And it was a he said, she said moment. And at the end of the day, you know, we're going to move on from this. And we're going to get better. And we're going to continue to win games and go win a Super Bowl. So, I'm sorry, Browns fans, that you feel like we have no class in our organization. Whew. Oh, that's, um, Deshaun Watson. I oh, man, I'm sorry. You know what, guys? I'm going to go get a massage, okay? I, I don't know. You guys probably get a massage, too. Deshaun Watson gets ones. Okay, all right, that's my last Deshaun Watson joke. No, but on a real note, though, um, yeah, it's absolutely hilarious that they even talk anything after all that stuff, but you know what? I'm not going to let the Cleveland Clowns dictate this, guys. I will be live tonight at... 7 o'clock for the game because the game starts at 7.30, so we'll get a little pregame action going on before the game does start. See you guys next one. Peace out.